Here is why you should not use Xanax to control your anxiety. Anxiety comes from your body naturally adapting to stress. Think about it this way. If you're in the woods and you see a bear, you freak out, you start to get anxious, you get nervous, you run. Now imagine that while you're running, someone comes along and knocks you over the back of the head and you fall to the ground. Yeah, you're asleep, you're not thinking about the anxiety, but guess what? The bear is still there. And while you're knocked out on the ground, the inside of you is saying, oh my goodness, there's a bear, there's a bear. So what Xanax does is hits you over the head, makes you numb to the fact that there's a bear, but it doesn't actually change the body's response to a bear. So the next time you're in the woods, your body remembers that it saw a bear and it reacts even more severely. You see this because people who tend to use benzodiazepines such as Xanax for long periods of time have to keep increasing dose. You need more because your body is being trained that it's going to be knocked over the head every time it sees a stressor. This is not healthy. The real way to address your anxiety is to actually look at why you're having anxiety in the first place. You're having anxiety because your brain perceives the bear as dangerous. And when this happens, it causes a physiological response in the body. And this physiological response causes the symptom of an anxiety attack or even just this low level anxiety where everything reacts. The body starts to imagine bears when there's not really bears. You hear a rustle in the bushes over here and your body thinks, oh, it's a bear. So your brain is actually telling your body that there's danger. One of the best things that you can do to help with anxiety is to start to change the way that you think about the bear. What if the bear was just a puppy dog and it was cute and cuddly and you could play with it as opposed to a threat? Now, this just takes practice every single day. It's a few minutes every day to take the things that are causing stress in your life and causing anxiety and looking at them through a different lens. Writing down, do I really have control over this situation? Is there anything I can actually do about this situation? And what is the worst that can happen from this situation? I know I catch myself in that all the time. I freak out over something and then realize that the outcome, if it went wrong, really isn't that big of a deal. So I would suggest that every day you take a real strong look at what is causing these anxious moments. Is there anything you can do about it? What would happen if you didn't do anything about it? And start to look at it as a lesson or a way to grow from the situation rather than freak out about it. I really, truly hope this was helpful. 